my dogs. Yeah, so we can't go down there because they put a lock on it. Well, today I'm gonna to talk about my two cameras. Now I've got two Canon cameras. They're completely different. One's bigger than the other. This is a 6D. This is a Canon full frame camera. And this is my one I love mainly. This is a 700D Canon camera. Now, apparently in photography terms, this is called a crop camera. But when you buy a camera, which you, when you buy the DSLR, um, it's just, a, it's just a camera, isn't it? Now this one is a 6D, this is a full frame camera. I'll just bring it in a bit closer. <clears throat> if I just bring in both those like that, you can probably see this one is bigger. It's got a alloy body to it. So if I dropped it, <laughs> hopefully it'd still be all right. Whereas if I drop this one, because it's a plastic case, it'd probably crack in half. But like I said before, I prefer this one, not because it's cheaper, mainly because it, it it's got a flip outside. I find it a lot easier because of my, I've got arthritis in my leg and I find it difficult bending down. Whereas, and I don't like using the tripod so much. Whereas this one's a little bit more, well, is a professional camera. It's a full frame. Why is it called a full frame? Well, <laughs> when digital cameras first come out, they were all like this. And then later on, Callum were the first to bring it out. Um, they brought out the first digital full frame camera and apparently people thought, so does that mean this is only taking half the picture? Sort of right. What I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna go into the technical side of it because it's, it's just too much. Um, I, could, I could spend an hour or more trying to describe why this is a full frame, what uses has it got, um, and why this ain't a full frame camera. Most people have got these sort of cameras anyway. The only reason I got this camera mainly is because uh, when I used to run my own business <laughs> back in the UK, um, some of my clients actually specified that I had to use a full frame camera. Now mainly this was to do with estate agent work, going inside of properties, taking rooms. They want the biggest picture they can in one picture, obviously. This baby can do that. But also doing landscape, this is quite good for landscape as well, but I, I prefer this one. But anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've bought my wide angle lens and I've also bought my zoom lens. Thankfully, they can both fit the same, the both cameras. Um, this one is an EF and this is an EFS type, type of lens. And I think it's called an electro focus. It means, so it automatically focuses on your subject. Anyway. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I just want to get the camera a bit out of the way. I, I, I'm not into technical stuff anyway. You can find it on the internet. There's plenty of stuff on there to explain everything about the difference between this camera and this camera. But I'm going to show you in photographs. I'm at, I'm at a lovely area. It's coming out at eight o'clock in the evening. Sun's just going down, but you've probably got about another hour. So I'm going to show you the difference I will put up on the images which one's which and which lens is doing it and let you decide which one you think is the best but to me I still love the 700d that's my camera it's a lot lighter it's more convenient for me but I suppose once if I want to do any more professional work yeah the, the 60s is the is the main bits but it's a it's a lot of money for all it is I think that one's for me <laughs> but anyway as I always say, keep watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy the images. I'm doing a bit of droneage as well. Anyway, as I always say, see you on the next one and keep watching. Mm -hmm.